wives, so welcome back to the wife side. I am Lakoa Hansen, and if you are a new wife or a new future wife to this channel here, one, I wanna welcome you to the wife side. Two, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button below. Over here on the wife side, we talk about all things wives and future wives, so if you are a wife, or you desire to be a wife one day, then this community is definitely for you. And three, thank you so much for joining me in this video. For all my old wives and future wives, it's always a pleasure having you. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me as well. For today's video, we're talking all about roles, so let's get into it. Now, I will let y'all know, my camera's about to die and I am sleepy. But I do want to record this video because it is definitely on my to-do list. I was supposed to record four videos and I am down to this last one and I am going to push through. Today we are talking about roles and I want to know, have you established roles in your marriage? Do you think it's important to establish roles in your marriage? For me, I definitely know that it's important for roles to be established because they help a lot of things. And I always talk about that if I could do something to help you all minimize the disagreements and arguments, I'm going to do that. And I definitely think this is one of the ways that you can help minimize and um, kind of decrease the, the disagreements and the arguments in your marriage or relationship. So the reason why I think it's important for us to have roles in the marriage is because it leaves less room for error. And what I mean by that is if you let your spouse or you and your spouse sit down and say, this is what I'm going to do and this is what I'm going to do or you're going to do, um, then that allows you to say, these are the important things that are in our life and I need you to take this and I'll take that. Do you feel okay with taking this? It's basically you having a conversation with your spouse to find out what are they willing to take off your plate or off the marriage plate and then you guys work to make sure that the marriage is driving in the right direction now for me i am and i'll say this into i am blue in the face i am a traditional wife where i am very submissive to my husband in the house so i am the cookator i cook all the time i cook normally i could cook anywhere from five to seven days out of the week all right sometimes we do go out to eat which is sometimes a break for me but i cook i am the cleanator i am the laundry a tour i am the <laughs> i do the laundry i do all the things okay so i cook clean um i do the laundry i also do the finances i do all those things in our marriage and you may say well what does your husband do he does the manly things okay i don't want to take out the trash so he takes out the trash i don't want to be bothered with the car so he takes care of the cars for the most part um and he just does the man what men do like i'm okay with my husband sitting on the couch while i am cleaning because at the end of the day i feel like nobody cleans like me and i want my house to be a certain type of way all right um so that is that so we have established that from the beginning like even when we were dating um i would make sure my husband had something to eat i would make sure his house was clean because and my house was clean i would make sure his clothes was washed now when it comes to washing clothes is a little bit different because i wash babe's clothes but i don't fold his clothes he's very particular on how he wants his clothes folded and i ain't got time to listen we gonna roll this stuff up and put it in a drawer that's how i am with my, <laughs> my clothes but babe is very particular about that so he does fold his own clothes and then i wash his clothes and then I wash the kids clothes and my clothes as well too. So we've discussed these things like this is what I am going to do. This is what I don't want to do. Are you okay with doing it? And the reason why it's important for you to do that again, it just, it, it leaves less room for error. And that way you all can talk about like, okay, are you willing to do this? I'm not willing to do it. You're not willing to do it. What is the next step to make sure this stuff gets done? Because some wives are not traditional. They don't want to cook. They don't want to be spending most of their time in the kitchen. They don't want to do those things. And the husband may not know how to do it. So what do you need to do? You may need to hire a personal chef or you need to do um, pr uh, those meal prep kits where you all, all you have to do is pop it in the oven, you know, so that you 
are bringing something in to help your marriage move forward because what you don't want to happen is like i don't want to cook you don't want to cook and now we just either spending up all the money because we're eating out or we're not eating because nobody wants to cook you know what i mean um so talking about can we invest in having these meal services or meal prep services another thing too some women don't like to go to the grocery store some men don't want to go to the grocery store either so what do we need to do do we need to order groceries and have them delivered to our house is that something that we can do something that we can afford it's very important for you to sit down and talk about these things because there are some things that happen in, within the marriage that is very very important and you don't want to fall short on those because if you do fall short on those then it can lead to you all having more arguments and disagreements and we don't want that um now arguments and disagreements are going to happen they're they're fine but some things don't need to be argued or disagreed about on they just need to have a discussion and talk about who's in charge of this or that um it also validates your position so you may say i'm a wife okay well what does that mean okay what does that what is that role in within your marriage because i'm a wife but the wife that I am may be totally different than the wife that you are or the wife that your husband had in his head that he wanted. I was actually talking to one of my coworkers um, a couple of weeks ago and we were talking about marriage and um, just talking about how like what if your wife isn't like this or he, he's not married yet so he's like what if your wife is like isn't like this then what do you do or you know what I mean and it was so funny like or interesting hearing his train of thought because you know in our head we can picture you know in our head we fantasize that we'll have this you know our knight in shiner armor or our cinderella um and they'll come and they'll just change our lives forever right and that does happen you know what i mean you do find your knight in shiner armor you do find your cinderella um but in reality you know there are things that need to be discussed and if you say i am the wife okay well what do you bring to the the table for the marriage you know what i mean i'm not just talking about like finances and things like that if you don't know what that is then you need to go back to the drawing board and say what do i bring to this marriage and for me that's what i i i, I mean from day one i was and i'm not perfect or anything like that but i knew what type of wife i wanted to be i wanted to be a traditional wife i wanted to make sure that my household ran a certain type of way um and that's what it was so yeah i think it's definitely important for you to be able to say what your role is and validate the position that you play within the marriage like you can't just be like i'm the wife okay well what does that mean to you and what does that mean to your spouse and are we meeting in the middle to actually say this is who i need you to be as a wife and this is who i need you to be as a husband to move forward and that and that is the conversation about having roles within your marriage um just realize too that roles will change so in the beginning of our uh, our marriage, babe took care of the finances, but that role ended up changing probably like a year or two within our marriage. And I took over the finances and I've been doing them ever since. And it's very important for you to sit down and talk about like, okay, these are the changes that we're going to make. Because another thing too is I said in, earlier in the video, I did not want to take out no trash. I don't want to take out trash. I ain't got time for that. But now the way that our life is set up, sometimes babe is not home to take out the trash and I need to take out the trash. Maybe he has duty that day or something. He's running late and the trash is overflowing and it needs to be taken out because I'm cooking or whatever the case may be. So now I have to take out the trash. And that is something that before I'm like, I'm not taking out that trash. Okay, but we have kids now, the diapers be stinking and they need the trash need to go out. So it's just little things that you have to be able to discuss and understand that that is going to change. Another thing for us, too is that babe is now cooking a little bit more not necessarily dinners i still make dinner from uh i i make all the dinners uh babe don't cook dinner but he does make breakfast i used to make breakfast i used to make make lunch and in dinner but babe has taken over the breakfast road that's something that he has found interest in and i don't want to shut him down for that so just know that the roles will forever change um and new roles will come that need to be talked about and and old roles will go that don't need to be taken care of anymore i'm trying to think of like an old role that 
I used to do that I don't I don't do anymore. Um, I try to really stay consistent on like the things that I do. So I don't know like what's like an old role that I used to do. I don't know, but uh, for Babe, what is one that Babe used to do? I don't know. Sometimes like Babe used to, I, I don't like dealing with the cars and stuff like that. Babe was really good on that, but sometimes his schedule doesn't allow him to go, you know, and, and, and take my van to get serviced or whatever the case may be. Like, I sometimes have to do that, but that's a conversation that we have. I'm trying to think of something. Oh, here's a big one. Here's a big one. Um, it's not something that has changed, but from the beginning I tell Babe, like, you're the man you should drive. <laughs> so Babe literally drives us everywhere. Now I will help, but I'm typically not the first one getting in the driver's seat if we're together. Like I drive, don't don't get me wrong. Like I have to drive because I have to drive the kids to daycare every morning and I drive to work shortly after that and I pick them up and, and we go home. I drive, but when we're in a family setting, I typically, even if babe is just coming out and we're running somewhere, I will slide my happy butt over to the passenger side and sit there. Um, so that's one thing that has stayed consistent through and through our marriage. Um, and we, I mean, Again, not a perfect marriage. No marriage is perfect. I've talked about that before. If you haven't seen it, go check out that video. But um, we definitely have set ourselves in our roles. And that's kind of how we go off of. So the things that I do, I do. Like I clean, I cook. Like I said earlier, you know, I do all these things. And the things that Babe does, he does. You know what I mean? Um, and now that we have children, or children, children, now that we have children, our roles have grown where, you know, we definitely tag team because we got twins too. So we definitely tag team. And if you are, you know, a parent, you know as well too, especially if you're a two home um, parent if you have two parents in the home, you know that sometimes you have to divide and conquer. Um, so babe gives the baths to the kids and then um, while I'm downstairs straightening up, cleaning up or whatever the case may be, and then I'll come up and I'll get them dressed, I'll get them lotioned and stuff like that. Those are things that have start has, you know, we talked about. It used to be where he would give baths and then I would give baths the next time and we just kind of left uh kind of went off track on that and we just was like hey you do the baths i'll do the the dress ups and the lotions and stuff like that so now we're discussing potty training oh let's not talk about that okay we'll talk about it in another video but i hope this video was definitely helpful to you all i think it, i think and i know well i don't think i know that it's important for you to establish roles in your relationship um and these are just a few reasons why for you to establish those roles if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure you comment below if you have other roles that you want to share that needs to be discussed or you think that is universal for every marriage i would i would love to hear you all's feedback also to make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed and yeah always come back for some more wife side until next time wives and future wives I'm out there. Get to know